today I'm going to talk about a subject that is very dear to my heart. Birds. I absolutely love birds, whether it's Orioles or hummingbirds or the birds that I'm feeding seed to. But there's a big danger out there right now, and a lot of you are unaware of it. You believe truly in your heart that you're doing a good thing, but what's actually happening is it's ending a lot of hummingbirds' lives. Let's talk about what is going on throughout the United States and how we can change it. So even if you wanna do this procedure, maybe we can tweak this a little bit. Hi, this is Robbie from Southern California. And you know I feed thousands of hummingbirds, but I just have to say birds in general. We have turned our whole garden into a sanctuary for over 60 species of small type birds now. What's going on is a lot of people, and it's a trend that's been going on for a long time, put jelly out, grape jelly, for your Orioles. Now, here is the thing. I do not do this. Not at all. I have always been aware that this could be an issue. Not so much that the hummingbird may eat it, though it's not really that good for them, but they can get into it. And they're very delicate. And when you touch them, their feathers come right out. What has been happening is you put your jelly out like you normally do in a bowl. The Orioles come and feed on it, and then the hummingbirds find it, a few of them. And when they do find it, they don't know what it is. So they can't in any way lap it like they do out of a hummingbird feeder, so they get onto the bowl. And if they stumble into it, especially on a warm day, as the jelly gets soft, it gets sticky, the moment they get it on their feet, their feathers, their face, they have no way of getting that off. Even if they found the fountain, there wouldn't be enough time for them to get everything off. It is very hard to wash off. Think about it when you were feeding your kids peanut butter and jelly, how sticky that is. Well, think of this tiny little bird that's got a scrub. It's easy for them to get the pollen off and the nectar they picked up. But when they get submerged in it and it's all over their body or their feet and they can get stuck to a branch, who knows how many have perished from that. It is really a big danger for them. Now, you know, a while back, I found a hummingbird that was completely covered in something. I still to this day don't know what it had on there. It was all sticky. I found it, washed it off, and that little hummingbird was very lucky. He took off and flew away, but it was an ordeal to get him clean. Was it jelly? Was it oil? I don't know what it was. The point is, we can do better. Keep in mind, your Orioles will feed out of a hummingbird feeder if the holes are big enough. And if they're not big enough, make them bigger. You know how I do that with my hummingbird feeders, but it would be better off if you just bought an Oriole feeder that is designed for them. Now, going back to the jelly, if you insist on putting out jelly, there are a couple things you can do. Now, I make peanut butter cup feeders for my hummingbirds, which is a shallow container with a lid. So the food, the nectar is inside and they have to reach down, they can sit on the edge and reach in the nectar, but they're not getting anything on their feet, their feathers or anything. Their tongue is going in there. You could design that for your Orioles. You could do the same thing with the peanut butter cup. Make the holes a little bit bigger and the Orioles will gladly come over, put their beak in there and eat the jelly out. Even on a warm day when it gets really sticky, they'll be able to sit there and feed through. Think about it, they're feeding out of hummingbird feeders. Now, if a hummingbird did come by and he did stick his beak in there, the only thing he's gonna get sticky will be his beak. And with that, he can rush over to some water and wash it off, but it won't be all over his feathers. The jelly is very dangerous because that can get all over them and there is no way they can wash themselves off completely. And it will give them too much weight on their body as well as debris can start to stick to them. Just think though, what if that's a little female with babies and she doesn't make it back to the nest? So I know we can do better. You can put out a half an orange and your Orioles will sometimes feed on that. But I know that they're kind of getting addicted to this jelly. And so this has been a reason why so many of you do it. But please think about the hummingbirds because this is very alarming. And as your Orioles are coming in, your hummingbirds are too. And the Orioles follow the hummingbirds when it comes to feeders and the hummingbirds follow the Orioles. They see where they're feeding and they go check it out. Hummingbirds are very inquisitive birds. They check 
everything out. You know how I make fountains so many types and they will come immediately to test them out because they are curious birds. So you wanna keep them away from the jelly and keep your beautiful hummingbirds safe. So think about getting maybe a shallow Tupperware or some sort of container about an inch tall with a snap-on lid. Make a lot of holes on the top. Long holes, they don't have to be round, they can even be long. Or you can put a half inch grid square wire, you know, like chicken wire is, you can get the wire in squares about half inch wide. Then you can make, you know, fold that over and put it over any bowl you're feeding. This way, the Orioles can land on top, they'll see your jelly, and if a hummingbird comes around, he's not going to fall or get into the jelly. These are things that we can do that will help our wildlife out. And you can take that bowl and sit it on a tray of water, and that will keep your ants out too. So there's a lot of things we can do, but think about it as you go outside to put your jelly out. Think about maybe you are doing okay for the Orioles, but think about what you're doing for the other creatures that are living out there. It may not be good for them. And I know it is highly dangerous for the hummingbirds. So I hope I've given you some thought and some ideas on how you can maybe tweak what you're doing so everybody will be happy. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.